Hello, this is Jerry Jenkins, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, PyCharm and how to create new projects. Uh, we've shown you a very basic new project, but we're going to introduce you to packages and how to manage them in PyCharm, and we're going to talk about virtual environments. So well, first of all, uh, on a Macintosh, uh, when you uh, install Python, you have to run it with Python 3 and uh, it'll drop you into Python and then you can do things and you know in a Python program you can say import something like uh, import sys or from math import uh, sine and cosine and then you can use those so whenever you do import this is part of the import system uh, you're importing what are called packages or also called modules so these happen to be built-in modules which come with Python but there's a lot of other modules for example you could say import a PY game if you wanted to write video game type applications in Python uh, but to use these you have to import you have to add them to your system so usually to add them to your system you use a utility called pip so let me exit Python and clear so if I wanted to add PY game I would say pip uh, install PY game and then it's going to load it into the system and then you can list uh, say pip list it'll tell you everything that's installed uh, two of these packages come with uh, your system which is setup tools and pip itself uh, I've added some other stuff beautiful soup uh, and Pello and PY game and one of the things I installed added this enum 34 so when you add a package it may add other packages that it requires and this is where packages get complicated because they depend on each other um, so now when we go back to Python uh, 3 we can import PY uh, game and you'll see it does it with no problem uh, so that's a little bit about packages. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of websites here and talk about there's basically two kinds of packages. There's the built-in packages and then there's packages like PY game that are third-party packages that are not part of the built-in. So let's show you those. Uh, so we'll put the links to these all these sites in the description of this video. So just go to YouTube and find this video. You'll see it in the description. So first of all in the normal uh, built in Python, there's over 250 packages that are built into Python that give Python a lot of its power. And then there's a repository of packages that you can use import to import from, and it has currently over 150,000 projects. In fact, why it has so many is you could write your own package and put it up there, and it would be available for everyone to use. Um, so it's, it's nice to know how do you find out about pa packages and one way is by taking tutorial programs and seeing what are useful packages or hear about it on a, like a reddit forum on Python uh, but here's a place you can go look this is a wiki on Python and it's got uh, a moderated list of, of categories of packages you can look at using uh, so that's one place you can look there's also when we get into running pip and you want to run pip which is from the command line this is a tutorial for how to use pip uh, and then uh, we're going to also talk about virtual environments later so virtual environments we'll talk about so there's a there's a link to a thing about what are virtual environments in Python how do you create them and use them now PyCharm which we're going to be used which is the IDE we're going to be using okay so we're going to go into PyCharm and we're going to create a new project And when you create a new project, uh, it's just like we showed in the install film. You give it a project name. So we're going to call this the uh, system packages. And then when you pull this down, it's going to show you the options for installing the project. Now when you first install PyCharm, uh, it's going to want to create a virtual environment. And eventually that's what we're going to do. But first we're going to install it from our existing interpreter. So we have it set to our new interpreter we've installed. And this is going to install it and link everything to the local project. And what we mean by that is what is the 
So we're going to choose the existing interpreter and that's going to choose one of the interpreters that's already installed in your system and we're just going to have the choice of 3.7 and 3.7 when you do that it's going to match up not only the interpreter uh, but the whole Python environment so what do we mean by that so let me show you a little s slide here I made so when you install a Python version like 3.7 you get a bunch of tools including the Python executable and pip you get the built-in packages that we talked about, which are over 250 of those. And you get a place that you can store third-party packages from PyPy, for example. So you can install different packages, uh, and you have a choice of over 150,000. So when you install Python, you get an area for each of these things. Uh, but the one you can, when you ins do install a uh, pip install, it installs in this third-party area. Now, so let's go back and go ahead and create the project and we'll show you what's going to go on here. So we've created the project. When we go to PyCharm and we say Preferences, so remember that whenever you're in a project you can go PyCharm Preferences. You go down to where it says Project, the name of your project. Open that up and there's the Project Interpreter which is which points to where the Python is that you're going to be using for your project. So in this case you see it points to user local bin Python 3.7. This is where it installs it on a Macintosh. When you go to the article on this video you'll see the other places it installs it. And this shows you all the built-in uh, third-party packages that I've already installed with pip at the system level. Uh, so these are at the system level. So you notice it has PY game here. You can remove a package. So I'm going to show you how to remove one. So this is like calling pip uh, uninstall. It removes it. Or you can add a package. So I can add it. It's good to know the name before you start. You don't want to just be scrolling through here since there's thousands and thousands of packages. So let's add PY game back in. And you can actually specify a version. So maybe we didn't want the newest version. You could choose an older version. So this might be important when you're like have a project with code from something else you're getting that requ requires an older version or a newer version. Uh, so we're going to import the newest version. So we're going to leave that off and install. When you install, you may not be able to run your program right away. It has to uh, index it even after it's done this. See down here it says reloading generating skeleton. So it's going to go through some work to look through all that package and make a PyCharm aware of it for your programming purposes. So when we close this we'll see the PY game is now back. Uh, so that's a uh, that's using the installed packages on your system. Now what you should be doing is using a virtual environment. So let's close this project and do a virtual environment. So we're going to create a, a new project and we're going to pull this down and this time we're going to say use a virtual environment. We want to make sure we uh, leave most of this alone. You want virtual environment here. These are other options if you're using a CODA or a PIP environment and you're advanced um, and you want to do that. You want to leave this alone. It creates a virtual environment folder called VENV -E inside your project folder. So that's going to become a very important area of your project folder and it has the name of your project here. So I'm going to type this and we're going to call it a, a, a virtual environment project. VE project. So you see it just sticks that right in the middle here. And then uh, your base interpreter, you get to choose what version of on your system of Python you want to use. We're just going to use the one we installed. And this is normally, so normally you don't have to do anything here. You just fill in the name of your project. It remembers that you did a virtual environment. So every time you do a new project, it should remember this and create a, a, a virtual environment for you. So let's see how this behaves differently. So here we've created it. We're going to go again go to PyCharm Preferences. We go down to where it says Project. Open that up and choose Project Interpreter. And this area shows the packages we have available. So it only has the two packages I mentioned are part of Python that are in the third party area, PIP and Setup Tools. So we can add PyCharm. Uh, so we're going to add, I mean, PY Game. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Uh, PY Game and we'll install it. And now it has a PY game. 
So now when we write our code, we can import from pygame. It's going to pick it up from the local area, which is the venv folder inside your project. If you hover over these, it says where they are, and you'll see this one is located in our project. If you hover over pip or setup tools, you see it's in framework. Um, well, actually, it makes a copy of it here. So when you do a virtual environment, it isolates everything in your project is isolated from the system. Uh, which is really good because you can change any of these packages and it won't affect the system or any other projects you've done. Uh, it's, so it's isolated your project in terms of that complexity of the package relationships all just for your project. Now there's a third option we're going to show you and uh, it may be useful to you. So we're going to create another new project and we're going to make it a virtual environment as well but we're just going to turn on this option called inherit global site packages excuse me and let's see what it does now so again we're going to go look at preferences and open up the project interpreter and you see it has all of these were the packages that were installed at the system level so what they're all available to us so the way this works, your project is still isolated, which means if we add anything here or remove anything, it's going to affect our local project. But uh, anything that we didn't add or remove, it looks through our project to find the ones that are in the system. So we, uh, the system can be the ones we use all the time. And then when we do a new project, if we just need a package for that project, we can just add it to the isolated project. And so that's how that works. I have an article that uh, points this out, so I'll just show you that quickly, and there's going to be a link to it. Uh, so uh, this pro uh, this article is called PyCharm and Virtual Environment Package Management Basics. So it basically goes through a little bit more detail here. It shows you where the normally things get installed on your system, depending on what platform you have and then it's going to go basically through most of the same things I did in the slide but it's like got some nice diagrams to show you kind of what's happening uh, and at the bottom it has a list of uh, here we go it has a list of references to PyCharm help which shows you the uh, uh, their help for how to use these different features so this goes into more detail about what your options are in PyCharm so thank you very much. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. There's a link I'm going to have right at the video and all through the video you can do that or just go to the uh, YouTube uh, area and do it.